So I put a cut in my tire. And it makes me nervous every time I ride. So I'm gonna do a little tutorial how to change a bicycle tire. And with geared bikes, what you wanna do is get it on the highest possible gear on the rear cog. You don't have to do this, but it's easier to do this because with that, the chain is less in the way. For my bike, it's a little bit special. You undo the quick release, but there's that little notch right here. My axle is screwed in. So, simple stuff. Lefty, ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Comes right out. Sorta. There we go. Now let's check to see if your axles are nice and fatted. Greased. And the wheel comes right out. According. Stand the bike up so you don't hit the derailleur on the ground. Like so. You don't want the derailleur getting damaged, otherwise you have to retune the gears. Alright, so, now that you got the tire off, well, the wheel anyway, now that you got the wheel off, it's time to let the air out. The tools you'll need for the whole procedure is I use Fire Fresh, Power Refresh, I use soap to lube up the bead and the, and the rim so the tire seats better. Uh, a tire valve screwdriver. You might not have these, you can just put your thumb or whatever in the little valve stem and it'll let all the air out. And tire mounts. Ting things. I don't know what the hell they're called. They're called Reifenheber in German. I forgot the names. That's a deficit of learning the language. So, first thing to do is let all the air out. And now you take these things. Most of you probably wonder what these hooks are for the back. I'll show you. Uh, by the way, tip. I prefer to do it at the valve stem. So. Tire over. See? The hook's right onto the spoke. So. Next one. Goes in there. Sometimes you don't even have to do that. You just pop it over. Some, and then after that, you could probably just pop it right off like that. And then you loosen, or you could have done that before the tire. Take the security nut off, because you don't need that anymore. And then remove the tube. Check if your tube is good. This one is, I know. I bought it when I had my problem. Put it right there. And then you do the same procedure again to take off the other side of the bead. Now some guitars might be a little bit harder than others. And voila, you got the bare rim off. Now the only thing that's left to do to put the new tire on. Now you have to be careful because each one of these tires has a rotation direction. Where'd it go? God damn it. Made in Taiwan. Go figure. Front wheel goes this way. Rear wheel goes that way. We have the rear wheel right here. Just like that. To know the rotation pattern. The cog's always on the right. Rotation of the tire always on the right. Here's where I like taking some soap. I'm gonna this one nice and fresh. I'm gonna be so clean. This is probably gonna get a lot of shit in the fucking. And this is probably gonna get a lot of shit in the comments because of what I'm using. I usually did like soapy water or something, but that usually just dry too quick. The right, good. Back wheel to the right. And then you 
just fuck around a little bit until it gets on there. Ta-da! Here it is. Bingo. So then, you take your tube, which hopefully by now is still deflated. You slip it right in. And then you take your securing nut, just put it loosely on there. You lift the tire up, so you can put the tube in. Just like this. Now this is in some directions that you pump the tube a little bit. I don't like doing that. I like the tube to be a little bit more flat. Because I'm always paranoid that I'll just move something wrong and then voila, I got a cut in my tube. So. Now, by taking the tire off the rim, I like to start on the valve stem. Putting the tire on the rim, but I like ending on the valve stem. So then you take, when it gets tight, you take your mounting iron and then just walk it over. Ta da! Now you have one mounted tire. Now you can start pumping this bitch up. Now that that's pumped, by the way, review on this pump, not a bad pump, takes fucking forever though. So once you got your tire all pumped up, valve stem in place, locking screw, cap, ta-da! To put it on, you just take it. Move your chain up, because this has got to go on through the top some way. I personally like rolling it over the derailleur and into place. Make sure your brake disc aligns with the caliper. And ta-da! It's in. And just screw it back on. That's all there is to it. Simple enough. 